from United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. Before the earthquake, Haiti was already the poorest country of the Western Hemisphere, with a severely stressed medical system. Now eight of the 11 hospitals in the capital Port-au-Prince are destroyed, and hundreds of thousands of people injured in the quake are desperate for help. Makeshift clinics were set up in the streets. Doctors had to perform complex surgeries on the spot with few medical supplies, not even painkillers. Medical doctor, Luc Bocoul. The main cases are uh, fractures, uh, open fractures. We have a lot of uh, wounds, uh, cut wounds, uh, very big wounds, a lot of trauma, uh, head uh, traumas. Under dismal hygienic conditions, People even die from minor injuries when their open wounds get infected. What's more, many people in Haiti suffer from AIDS, cancer, or diabetes, making it a matter of life and death for them not to be cut off from medication. The World Health Organization, WHO, supplies improvised clinics with medicines from the National Central Drug Store in Port-au-Prince and has shipped in additional supplies for tens of thousands of people. WHO coordinates the work of 55 aid organizations and agencies to provide primary health care to survivors. International solidarity was essential to respond to the scale of the need. Days after the quake, 1,000 hospital beds for Haiti's injured arrived with the floating hospital USNS Comfort, a converted super tanker. Its 12 operating rooms saw non-stop action treating patients, some of whom had been crushed under the rubble for five days. Lieutenant Commander Dr. Mill Etier. So a lot what happens is a lot of those, for a lot of those patients, the legs are dying. Um, and having that dead leg there um, puts you at increased risk for infection. And that infection in the leg can actually kill the patient. So we are having to do a lot of amputations. Physical therapy for amputees is only one of the multiple needs for injured Haitians to recover. Soon, some field hospitals will shut down and the long road to rebuilding the medical infrastructure will begin. The focus is already slowly shifting back to primary health care. Meanwhile, worldwide solidarity has produced some small miracles, like in this Israeli field hospital, set up in one of the poorest areas of port au prince Pediatrician Tarif Bader. This little baby came here with a serious infection of, uh, infection of his uh, leg and it was, uh, it could be a very, very, very easy decision to have this, uh, this leg amputated uh, and then we decided, with, of course, with consulting with the, with the orthopedics to give him a serious antibiotics mm -hmm. and to try to save, uh, to save his leg. The hospital is working around the clock to bring specialized care to 250 patients many of them in desperate conditions. Five patients have died in the hospital, but as a small sign of hope, three new babies were born. This report was produced by Ingrid Casper for the United Nations.